Have you ever dived into the world of the famous 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell? If not, you're in for a treat. The show is filled with funny, surprising, and sometimes sad moments that'll keep you hooked. Featuring a cast of memorable characters and well-known actors, the TV show captured the hearts of viewers across generations. Who's your favorite actor in this series? Let us know in the comments below. From Zack's tricky plans to Kelly's charming personality, there's a scene or moment in the show that has left a lasting impression on almost everyone. What's yours? Share your thoughts with us. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most loved memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the funny, surprising, and sometimes heartwarming world of Saved by the Bell. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. Saved by the Bell, a teen comedy series created by Peter Engel, has garnered a mixed reception over the years. Some viewers find it to be a lighthearted and entertaining portrayal of high school life, while others criticize its portrayal as dumb and pretentious. The show primarily revolves around a group of six main characters, each fitting into typical high school stereotypes. From the jock to the feminist cheerleader to the charming cheerleader, the cast embodies various archetypes commonly seen in teen dramas. Despite attempting to tackle serious topics like homelessness, bigotry, and bullying, the show's handling of these issues is often perceived as shallow, with characters quickly forgetting the lessons learned in previous episodes. As the series progressed, it faced criticism for repetitive plots and the introduction of unnecessary characters. Despite its flaws, some viewers may still find enjoyment in Saved by the Bell, provided they can overlook its shortcomings. Overall, while it may not be considered a high-quality comedy, it still holds nostalgic value for many fans. Mark Paul Gosselar, a main cast member of the TV series, had the task of dyeing his hair blonde every two weeks during production. Another member of the cast, Mario Lopez, and his wife, Courtney, shared the news of expecting their third child on June 5, 2019. Before joining the show, Mario Lopez won a beauty pageant in 1987. These behind-the-scenes details give insight into the lives of the actors involved in the popular TV series. Gosselar's commitment to maintaining his character's appearance through frequent hair dyeing shows his dedication to the show's production. Meanwhile, Lopez's personal life, marked by the anticipation of a third child, adds a touch of reality to his on-screen role. Additionally, his earlier achievement in a beauty pageant showcases a diverse range of talents beyond acting. These bits of information offer a glimpse into the lives of those who contributed to the show's success, giving fans a more personal perspective on the actors. In the late 1980s, Martin Lawrence announced on the Arsenio Hall show that he called off his engagement, revealing his engagement to another woman. Meanwhile, a pivotal event for Tiffany Thiessen, known for her role in Saved by the Bell, was her wedding to Angelo Pagan, which was showcased in a 2004 issue of InStyle magazine. The series itself underwent significant changes. Initially titled Good Morning, Miss Bliss, it depicted the lives of students and staff at John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. However, after just 14 episodes, it was canceled. NBC revamped the show, relocating it to Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California, and underwent cast changes, retaining only a few actors including Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees. Curiously, the transition to California was never explained in the series, leading to a fan theory that suggests the entire show may be a daydream concocted by Zach Morris. This theory is supported by elements like the theme song supposedly reflecting Zach's thoughts and his ability to break the fourth wall with a timeout maneuver, where time temporarily stops. In a peculiar turn of events, the single U2 by media satirist Negative Lynn stirred controversy due to profane outtakes of him, which an engineer had saved. This incident led to the recall of the single by the label SST Records and resulted in lawsuits. The outtakes involved him performing a long-distance dedication about a deceased dog and struggling to articulate the letter U and the numeral 2. In the casting arena, she competed with Jenny Garth for the role of Kelly Kapowski on the show. Eventually, she secured the role, triumphing over Garth. Interestingly, they would later share the screen on Beverly Hills 9210 and forge a real-life friendship. Garth even played a role in setting her up on a blind date with her now-husband Brady Smith. Despite their past closeness, their friendship has since waned and they are no longer as close. 
Despite the shifts in relationships, he still maintains contact with his co-star Mario Lopez from the show. Their bond from the set of Saved by the Bell has endured over time. Saved by the Bell, a TV series from 1989, is known for more than just its on-screen moments. Mario Lopez, one of its stars, forged a lasting friendship with Dick Clark, whom he met on KTLA's after-school dance show Shebang. This friendship endured for 49 years until Clark's passing in April 2012. Lopez, along with his sister Marissa Lopez Wong, authored the book Mud Tacos, released in October 2009. In 1991, Lopez secured a victory in wrestling, defeating David Joe Harris at the University of Pacific Stockton. He finished seventh in the 160-pound class at the CIF San Diego Section State Wrestling Meet, concluding his senior season with a 29-3 record under coach Art Stone. After the conclusion of the show, one of its stars, Mario Lopez, transitioned into a career as a stand-up comedian, showcasing his versatility and ability to connect with audiences beyond his initial role. His personal life also flourished during this time. In 2008, while performing in the Broadway production of A Chorus Line, he met Courtney Lopez. Their relationship blossomed, and in 2010, they welcomed their daughter, Gia Francesca Lopez, into the world. Born in Burbank, California, Gia weighed six pounds and four ounces. Adding a touch of Hollywood glamour to their family, Eva Longoria is Gia's godmother, underscoring the close-knit relationships within their community. Dustin Diamond played Samuel Screech Powers in several TV series. He portrayed the character in six different shows Good Morning, Miss Bliss, Saved by the Bell, Saved by the Bell, The College Years, Saved by the Bell, The New Class, Hang Time, and Robot Chicken. Apart from his on-screen roles, he was part of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity during his time in entertainment. His work in the Saved by the Bell series earned him recognition, landing him at 16 in VH1's list of the 100 Greatest Kid Stars. These achievements demonstrate Dustin Diamond's versatility as an actor, playing a single character across multiple series. Beyond acting, his involvement with the Beta Theta Pi fraternity and acknowledgement as a top kid star show his influence in the entertainment world. Slater, a character in Saved by the Bell, has the first name Albert Clifford, abbreviated as AC in legal matters concerning Casey Kasem's health. Judge Daniel S. Murphy intervened, ensuring Kasem received necessary care despite disputes over his treatment. Dustin Diamond, who portrayed a character in Saved by the Bell, has a mixed ancestry, with his father being of Ashkenazi Jewish descent, and his mother having English, Irish, Scottish, German, and Cherokee Native American roots. Diamond's maternal grandmother's family has a long history in the American South. Saved by the Bell, a 1989 TV series, faced a dilemma in casting Jesse Spano, ultimately choosing between her and Tiffany Thiessen for the role of Kelly Kapowski. Before her role in Saved by the Bell, she appeared as a contestant on the TV game show Scrabble in the mid-80s. Additionally, one of the actors tried to prevent foreclosure on his Wisconsin home by selling 30,000 t-shirts by June 2006.